There was a study done that when people win the lottery, they win all the tens of millions of dollars. What happens is they lose it within a two to three, four, five year time frame. All of it. And they're actually worse off than they were before. Why do you think that is? Well, let me show you why. What's up, everybody? My name's Joe Moffitt with Master Life by Design, and I'm excited to bring you this video today on expanding your mindset for financial freedom. Mindset's everything. It is key. Your mindset is the first thing you need to change before you elevate to the next level. Now, most people may disagree. They're like, no, you should work your butt off in order to get what you want and go to that next level. I don't disagree. I just don't think that's the first component in the equation. See, money doesn't cause the next level and your mind to expand. See, the expansion of your mind happens first. It causes you to get to the next level and the money follows that. And that's where I think, at least for me, when I was younger, I would get kind of twisted around and, and messed up. And I didn't understand the power of mindset, the psychology of money. And I wanna share with you why it's so important today, especially on the path to financial freedom. So let's start there. All right, we know there's a difference between active income and passive income. I'm all about passive income, but let me show you on the active income model why mindset is so important. Because you do have to actually make a mental shift, a mindset shift in order to go from active to passive income, okay? So if you guys have never seen my four levels of financial freedom video, you may wanna check it out. Maybe we'll post it up above here that you can just click on it and go ahead and watch that. But for those of you that didn't, you should see here on the screen that there are four financial levels. First one is survival. Second one is stability. Third one is success. And fourth one is significant. So each one of these, when I'm working with clients, especially in their active field, like whatever their job may be, we actually get real, we, we take time to get clarity, like how much money, if you wanted to leave your job, how much money do you need? Or if you wanted to hit certain levels, how much would you need? So survival is, hey, we have a financial number of $4,000 a month, right? That is your basic necessities. You pay your, your mortgage, your rent, your car, your cell phone, food, insurances, and utilities, basically, that's it. You don't go anywhere, you don't do anything. Stability is more like your lifestyle, okay? This is where you can, pay all your bills, and you have money left over to go do things. Go to the mall, buy some clothes, go out to dinner, movies, not lavishly or anything, but a good, you know, nice lifestyle. Success, on the other hand, that financial number is going to be bigger than your stability, right? Clearly, that is where you could go do things. You can, you could go buy a new car. You could, this is a higher level of success on a monthly basis. You could buy a new car. You could be able to go on a nice trip, you know, for a week or two. You have the income. And then significance is, you know, what amount of money comes in makes you feel totally significant. You can make, you can go and do anything you want, right? Like you can go rent a yacht for a week in, uh, you know, in Europe and just enjoy the coast of Italy or something like that, right? And so anyway, each financial level, you want to have a number that is a milestone that you are working towards, okay? You can watch out any other video, but that's basically the nuts and bolts of it. But there's a mindset for each level. Let's do this. So in survival, what are you thinking about? What you're thinking about is I need to make money. Like I, I, I need, I'm barely making it. If I'm making it at all, like, money's tight. It, we have the scarcity about us. We have a scarcity mindset. Money doesn't flow to me. Money is, you know, it's hard to get. These are some of the mindsets that we have, which we would call limiting beliefs, but these are some of the mindsets. When it comes to stabilization, uh, or excuse me, sta stability, you know, we have some mindsets like, okay, I have enough money. I have a good lifestyle money. You know, I can make a certain amount, but it's usually where there's a cap to it. You can make money and live a good life up to a certain amount. So we usually put this limiting belief on how much we can make, right? It's like this financial ceiling or financial thermostat. If you've ever heard that analogy, we all have a financial thermostat and it's because of the average of the five friends you hang out with. We'll talk about your environment slash peer group here in a little bit. But 
The next level is success, okay, success. And that is when you have a mindset around success, it's like money flows to me. I can, I can have, I have an abundance of it, right? There, it just, it, money just keeps coming to me. I have plenty, I can, I can go spend because more is coming in, right? And so we have this greater mindset than the previous two levels. And then significance, is where I can create any amount of money. It's always coming to me. It never stops flowing. Money is so easy to make. I have the recipe, the formula to do it because it's always flowing to me. And that's a big difference, right? Than maybe someone on the survival level. Now, here's what's gonna rock. Now, we have a financial number we wanna achieve. We have a mindset for each. But here's my question to you. There was a study done that when people win the lottery, they win all the tens of millions of dollars. What happens is they lose it within a two to three, four, five year time frame. All of it. And they're actually worse off than they were before. Why do you think that is? Well, let me show you why. So, as you can see, the reason why that's happening is because you can see how it's upside down now. What happens is they actually have all the money that they want at the significance level, but the reason why they do, they stay the same, is because they still have a survival mentality. They still think the way someone does in survival. So they're like, oh, I gotta get this, I gotta get this, I need this, I need this, oh, I haven't had this before, so let me just splurge on this. And what happens is they go broke and they're worse off to go in more debt than ever before. So your mindset is so important on your path to financial freedom. And when I work with people in the active income, that's exactly what we do. We identify their financial numbers. And then what we do is we identify the mindset for each one because someone who's in survival thinks differently than someone that's in success. When I was broke, $30,000, $40,000 in credit card debt and eating cheese and ketchup sandwiches to survive, living with six other people in that one house that I ran, my psychology was a lot different than some of the mentors that I had that were living at that level of success. They thought differently than me. And you could feel the energy that came with being in survival versus success. There was a clear distinction. And if you've ever been around people like that who are in survival, you can feel their hunger and like their neediness, right? Um, I'm not saying they're bad people, but you feel the difference. Now, the good news is this, you are not trapped at that mindset level. You're also not trapped at that financial level. See, when you expand your mind, you actually start to go to the next level because you'll take different actions and because of those different actions, you'll get different results. Now, strategy is important in this and how you go about doing it, but there is a, let's go back to this pyramid again. There is a financial number, a mindset, but in order to jump to the next one, not only do you need the mindset, but you also need, in addition to the mindset, is a strategy on how to get there. That's what I do with my co me and my coaches. We do that. We help people formulate those strategies, but more importantly, the mindset, so that when you put those two together, you're able to jump. Now, the other thing that you need in that equation, yes, it's mindset plus strategy, but it's also what you need to is time. See, in order to go from survival to stability, that's gonna take less time than going from success to significance. That's a big jump. And actually, if we were to draw a ladder, I'd like to do like a step for uh, survival to stability, a little bit bigger step from stability to success, because that is a bigger step, but to go to significance is a way bigger step. So a lot of my coaches can help people go from survival to stability or survive or stability to success level. But where I usually help clients go from is that level of success to significance. And that's a huge shift, okay? That's a huge shift. And so depending on where you are, you don't have to worry about that right now. Um, but I do wanna give you the full package of what takes place there. So how do you go and 
make some the shifts that you need. Well, if you need strategy, that's why you would want to hire a coach and you guys can customize your specific strategy for you to get to that next level by asking questions, pulling out the answers within you. But here's a couple things that I like to do to help clients and what I've done my success uh, self to get to those levels of success. Let me do a side tangent. Here's what I want you to know. Whatever you decide the financial number is on the active side for your pyramid here, right? This I would call it the 4S pyramid for financial success. It will, once you achieve it, you need to reset those levels because you're, you'll are you have a mindset that's reset, right? Like if I made $2,000 a month when I was 12, I would feel like that was significance. That was my number for significance. If I do that now at 38, $2,000 a month, I feel like that's not even survival. So you have to reset this over time because your mindset resets to a new level, right? So the way I like to do this is number one, working with a coach to work through the different mindset beliefs. We want to shift your mindset. You have to break down the limiting beliefs on why you can not get to the next level. We wanna install, ingrain, right? new beliefs that allow you to go from one level to the next. Let me give you a couple examples I've heard from clients that hold them back. So a pretty apparent one at the financial uh, level of survival is that money doesn't grow on trees. Money's hard to, to get, right? Those limiting beliefs hold people back. If you believe money's hard to get, then you're never going to go after what you want because we don't like, as not, as humans, we like the path of least resistance. We don't always want to push or sacrifice or grind, whatever words you or labels you want to give it. A label is just a label, but whatever that is, it's going, you're not going to want to put in the effort as if you think money flows easily and effortlessly to me, right? Or you know what? Money is a, money is a result of scamming people the rich scam people. If you hold that belief, you'll never want to be rich. You'll never want to be wealthy. So therefore you can't change the lifestyle that you have for you and your family and give them experiences you never had. You can't bless other people when your church needs help or when friends or family need help. I had a, a client who they needed about $20,000 as a bridge loan for 48 hours and they called everyone and there was only one person in their network that said yes to them that could possibly do it. You could easily do that for someone knowing you'll get your money back in 24 hours, but you couldn't do that stuff. Right. And so there is a reason that you want to be successful financially in this economy um, because or in this Western world is because it, money runs everything. So if you believe that that's going to limit you. Right. But if you have a belief that the most rich or wealthiest people, you know, are actually the most generous and make the biggest impact on the world, you're going to have no reservations to moving forward financially. So you have to identify your beliefs now. After you work through that, I highly suggest hiring one of our coaches to help you through that or myself, depending on where you are in your financial journey. But I want to go ahead and share with you two strategies. I'm all about the mindset, but I also love strategy. I don't neglect strategy, but the strategies can change over time, right? Back in the day, all you had to do was link back links to a website. It would blow up. You can add on it, put ads on it. You can market, you can make a ton of money. Now that strategy doesn't work. Strategies are important, but to change your mindset, the strategy by doing that outside of working with one of our coaches is number one is visualization. I love visualizing. Now visualizing isn't just you visualizing your success, right? Like I love to do that, but I like to visualize more importantly, the the skills that I will have when I'm reaching that next financial level. See, a good coach, when I first started my journey in coaching, I didn't have, I wouldn't be able to visualize where I am today, but I could visualize me having successful coaching calls with clients, with new clients, right? So I like to visualize my skills, thinking about how I help over reframe someone, how I help someone, you know, scramble a belief in their mind that holds them back from going to the next level. I could visualize that. Let me give you a quick stat here. There was a Dr. Blasletto at the University of Chicago. Um, what he did is he took best 
basketball players with their free throws and he had them visualize people who were doing free throws. So they took these, this group of players, this first group, they visualized shooting free throws. Then they had another group who practiced free throws. The difference in their results, the ones that practiced free throws in their minds showed a 23% improvement in their success rate compared to those who just physically practice. And so that's a huge impact. And so when you can visualize your skills, all of a sudden, you start to see that we can have it, uh, an acceleration in that skill set. So that is a one skill that you can use easily and effortlessly in your path. Also, I'd like to throw out there, I put this in my notes for you guys, that visualization techniques, and we can go into more specifics in another video, have been shown to have a positive impact on managing stress and anxiety, which is important on your path to financial freedom because we are always encountering decisions. And if you're stressed out, if you're if you're, you're anxious, right? Anxiety is just picturing a bad outcome for something that hasn't happened yet, you're probably not gonna to pull the trigger on that decision, right? It might be a really good property that cash flows a few, you know, a thousand, two thousand dollars a month, but your fear of what could go wrong, what if you need a new roof, what the couch is on fire, or when you start getting anxiety about how you don't have the income to be good, well, to cover that and all, you'll have to work more and oh my God, ah, guess what's gonna happen? You're not going to move forward. But if you can take time to visualize yourself, even in those challenges, I like to visualize myself overcoming challenges with the skills that I have and need, it can be a huge shift. So visualization is a powerful strategy. The second one is your environment. Your environment's everything. If you're in an environment where you're not inspired, if you're in an environment where you feel weighed down, if you're in an environment where things just feel heavy, the walls are caving in on you, you're not gonna be as productive as if you were in an environment that was totally inspirational. Maybe it's uh, in a high rise in your city in an office with all glass windows and you know most beautiful um, environment around, you know, plants, beautiful pictures, lights, everything, right? Or maybe it's you're on a yacht, working on a yacht. There's so many different environments that you can plug into. You need to shift your environment. One of the things is I have an office here in my house, right? It's great. <clears throat> I say I would say I'm inspired at 50%. Could I improve my background? Yeah, sure. Could I, you know, put things on the walls to make them look even more to inspire me more? Sure. However, I am looking to jump into one of those office spaces where you could share desks, roaming desks and stuff like that. People have, uh, you know, certain desks there, but it is an inspiring environment for me. So I'm gonna be signing up for that. So a couple days a week, I can go there and be more inspired with the work that if I was in my office, really wouldn't get it done as quickly. So I love to go there. I love to dream build, right? This is part of environment. I love dream building. This is more of the why behind why you wanna hit those financial levels or increase. And so I'll go to, I'll go, I have a goal this, uh, to go to open houses with homes that are worth millions of dollars, right? That we would love to purchase in the future. When God calls us, sorry, we're, God doesn't want us to leave our home yet. Um, I'm going to, I'm gonna go test drive some really freaking awesome cars, right? Not that I need the toys, but man, it's awesome when you're sitting in the Lambo or Maserati, right? Those are, those inspire me. And so, and then I'm also gonna go check out the private jet hangers. And if they, if I can influence the people who work there, I might even be able to jump on a private jet, not fly, but at least get in one and, and uh, just be in that environment. Because I always taught people and I've learned and I used to teach people is the best thing that you could do is allow someone to experience an environment, let them mentally move in. And when they are withdrawn from that environment, it raises the thermostat, it raises the standard for them. And so this can be a really, really powerful technique for you. So yes, the mindset's important and the strategies like visualization, shifting your environment, all play a role in achieving that next level along with obviously time. Some things take more time than others. If you're worth $10,000 or even if you're worth a million dollars and you want to be worth a billion dollars, that's going to take a little bit more time than let's just say you're worth a thousand dollars and you want to get the 10,000. 
it time is in the equation too. All right, so before we wrap up, here's what I wanna say is there, we were talking all about active income. When we talk about passive income, where I like to focus, that's what I'm about, is helping people create financial freedom, and that comes through passive income. Right, you can do that through business, but real estate and other opportunities, I focus a lot on real estate and, and business, but here's what I want you to know, is that each level, you have on the 4S pyramid with the passive income, what that does, you have a financial level number. You also have a mindset for each one. See, from survival, the mindset there is, I can go ahead and make things happen in order to achieve the level of financial passive income that I desire, right? I can make it happen. Someone that's on a significance level, like Sir Richard Branson, his mindset is, I just have to have the best people in the world and let them go actually run with my vision and I will create the income I desire. I'm gonna hire the best and leverage them. So there's a difference between like, I'll do it and I leverage the best. And in between are different levels there. So we're not gonna go into all of them, but again, you do have to have the mindset and the passive income and you gotta have strategy, right? Strategy is huge. That's why having masterminds are important. I'm part of a few masterminds that actually give me different strategies to think of. I did an interview on our show, maybe we'll post a link above here, with a, a, a guy named Sam uh, Weiger, Weiger in my uh, Millionaire Series interview. And he talked about co-living. Now, there's short-term rentals, there's mid-term rentals, long-term rentals, but in today's economy, as I'm making this video, when interest rates are about 8.25%, you're looking at co-living as a way to accelerate cash flow. And what's great is if you can do it when rates are around 8% and they drop down to five and a half, and you can refinance, you're gonna even cash flow even more. So it's a huge win. So different strategies are important. So I have different masterminds I'm part of. I can recommend them if you wanna know what they are based on if I can just get to know kind of what are your goals? What are you looking to achieve? What are you excited about? We can talk through that. I can recommend one. And if you stay tuned to around January 2024, roughly, I am going to be creating my own mastermind where we talk about mindset, strategy, and how to fold and accelerate time for you on your path to financial freedom. With that being said, you want to start and looking at, whether it's active, you're in a position where you are an active job, you have a nine to five, or you're in a small business and you're looking to create passive income, whatever that is, we wanna look at what are the number levels, so you gotta get clear what your financial numbers are, identify where you are, then you gotta start looking at what's the mindset I have at this current level? What was it when I was, if you were you know, one below, what is that? And what would the mindset need to be of the per the version of you in the future at that success level or that significance level. When you could start identifying that, we can help you with strategies on ingraining those belief systems and actually letting them take root. Um, but it's important to identify that because if you're not 100% clear, you're 100% unclear. And so that's something I always share with clients all the time. So when you know that, you could start owning that mindset and then you could talk about where do you, what's the environment you would live in or play in when you're at that success level or significance level? You can start going into those environments, right? Um, I will say you have to be really strategic and uh, conscious about that. And then also who are you hanging out with at each of those levels, right? Because my peer group when I was at survival, which is really just hanging with people who just wanted to party at the bars all day and, you know, club and all that stuff, which I did. And, you know, I've grown past that, right? I'm not better than them. It's just like, there's different people at each, each level. Like Richard Branson isn't hanging out with people at the survival level. I'm just telling you, he might inspire them. He might say hello to them and give them a word of knowledge, but he's not inviting them over. He's inviting people who are at the level of significance. So you have to take time and identify who are those people at the next level that you could start connecting with, getting in their peer group. You may have to pay to be around them. What do you mean, Joe, I gotta pay to be around people? Yes, sometimes you do. I pay to get around other million, multi-millionaires so I can learn to think the way they think, so I can learn the strategies that they have, so that I can be able to level up my game, my financial game, so we can level up our financial freedom, so that in turn, we can go and build God's house 
first for those of you that are you know that believe like build god's house first and he will build yours be able to bless people that are in challenging situations be able to give bridge loans when people are going to lose an incredible deal because they ran out of money could we be their saving grace in that moment as a bridge loan, yeah, we'll get a return, but it's a difference between them making $30,000 profit or losing 30,000. And they have no one else to turn to but you, right? So it's like, man, it's important for us to be, a, be able to win. And so I, my pastor always asks someone I truly admire, he runs a successful business, they do about $50 million in their business. He doesn't take a salary from the church. In fact, he gives way more than any pastor would take as a salary. Um, but he always asks this question and I wanna share it with you. And so he said, who's on the other side of you winning, right? Who's on the other side of you going from survival to success or success, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, survival to stability or stability to success or success to significance. Who's on the other side of you winning? And I just love that because it's like the it's like leverage for me when I don't feel like moving forward. When I think it through that, it's like, okay, let's get the job done. I don't always feel like making these videos. I love once I'm in, I'm in. But to get started is frustrating, it's challenging. But when I think about that, like who am I helping on the other side of this video? And you might be watching right now and be like, man, this really gives me something to think about. And as you go walk down the path, you do the work. All of a sudden, you start shifting the way you think. And then all of a sudden, that next level starts to seem more possible for you. And then it starts building momentum, the excitement, to get there and do the things that you need to do start to happen you start to see the money coming in and all of a sudden you're motivated it's like how do we keep this going and then you hit that next level and you celebrate at that level so i don't want to make this video too long even though i see it's about 25 plus minutes right now um, we want to make sure that you celebrate at each level so have a reward for that as you move up in that don't go above your means and i think you're all intelligent enough to know so all right i'm gonna wrap up here so hey i hope you guys found value in this when you do the exercises like i've done it helped me go from below survival i wasn't even at survival to get to survival to stability to success and now i'm working on <clears throat> significance but then i reset my passive, I did my passive income for us, Pyramid, and I'm working up the, my ways there too. But I have big goals, so do you. With that, comment below. Let me know one of your biggest takeaways. Give it a thumbs up, smash that thumb up, some thumbs up button. And most importantly, make sure you subscribe, hit that notification button so that you can be notified when more videos like this come out. They come out once a week, maybe bumping it up to twice a week, get my wife on here soon. So stay tuned, she's amazing. And most importantly, share this video, share it with someone. I had um, the video, my number one strategy for, um, for creating self-worth and I got a post that I posted on my Instagram maybe we'll show it here really quickly on why or how that was so impactful for him his girlfriend and why they're not going to get back together because she doesn't have self-worth and she can never love him and so anyway I love hearing from you guys because when I'm staring in this camera I don't know who's on the other side of the video it's only me and the camera right here but when I hear those re when people reach out and share thank you Joe this really made an impact or whatnot that inspires me to to pour out my best to give more to make more to interview more so whatever you need comment let me know we can make different videos on different topics but they all come together there's this convergence where everything comes together mindset strategy time that allows you to create and with effort right allows you to create financial freedom so hope you enjoyed the video share with people that you know that need this my name is joe moffitt with master life by design thanks for tuning in guys we'll see you on the next one bye